गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज शेफ राम गोपाल एंड टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्री प्रिपरेशन प्री प्रिपरेशन इज वन ऑफ द थिंग एज द वर्ड सजेस्टेड प्री प्रिपरेशन मीन्स प्रिपेयर द थिंग्स बिफोर द ऑपरेशन स्टार्ट देर आर सम ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द चैप्टर दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज प्री प्रिपरेशन हाउ डू वी डू दिस वाई वी डू दिस एंड वट इज द नीड टू डू प्री प्रिपरेशन स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन doing pre preparation and the outcomes of the chapter are after completion of this chapter you will understand the importance and the significance of pre preparation or mise en place now there are basically three steps whenever you are processing or doing any kind of a work plan prepare and perform planning is very necessary in terms of any work whatever you are doing in the world planning is very much important aspect to complete any kind of a task planning supposed to be in your mind and then according to your planning you will prepare your pre preparation in terms of kitchen as you will prepare then you will perform the task or the operation in terms of kitchen operation means the operational time whenever you are dispensing the dishes for the customer or any of the guest of hotel now proceeding further there is one word written here workstation what do you understand by workstation workstation is a place where a chef is spending almost 8 to 12 hours in the kitchen and it's supposed to be very much organized then only he can do the better job whenever at the time of need kitchen is as all of us know kitchen is a very busy place so that all the work supposed to be organized the chef need to be set up the work station first then only he can start the operation a stock pot should be ready before the operation now what is stock stock is one of the flavored liquid which is used for the preparation of some of the other dishes like gravies or curries uh it, the, actually there are four ranges or four or five number of ranges for any one work station and one range one that gas stove is reserved for the stock pot only because it's a liquid and you need every time the liquid part whenever you are preparing any kind of a dish all the utensils supposed to be in a proper place all the knives should be in a proper sequence i prefer the knife supposed to be in, uh, in a proper sequence as well as it's supposed to be dipped in a uh, sanitizing solution all the necessary items should be in the reach of the hands now why uh, the things are supposed to be in the reach of a hands because as all of us know we are standing in the kitchen for 8 to 12 hours and the first thing you are standing in the kitchen you are uh, you know you are spending some energy and if the things are not in the reach of your hands what you are doing you are wasting your valuable energy which is very much necessary to perform the daily operations and when you are running for any small thing then it actually you are wasting the time and wasting the energy for yourself as well that means at the time of need maybe your energy level is low and you maybe you cannot give your 100% that's why all the necessary items supposed to be in the reach of the hand now there is one word written here mise en place what mise en place is a french word the literal meaning of mise en place is putting in place or it Uh, uh, the things should be ready this also means that all the necessary item should uh, to prepare any kind of a dish or item should be ready before the operation start it should be in the reach of a chef for example uh, you are preparing onion tomato masala and for onion tomato masala what all the things you need you need whole spices you need some of the powdered spices you need oil and uh you need fine chop onion fine chop uh, tomatoes you need ginger garlic paste so if all these things are in a proper sequence in a proper manner in one place you will prepare the things very uh easily and in a very efficient manner without wasting the time then in the kitchen there are you know these kind of several things which need to be taken care of by the chef before the operation starts all the vegetable supposed to be cut there are some of the items which need uh, you know uh, the half done or partial done uh, state so at the time of operation you will just reheat it and give a final touch up garnish it and you can display the item for the guest uh, you know uh, 
plates supposed to be ready for the presentation all the crockery should be in a proper manner in a proper place condiment tray should be ready like olive oil or herbs etc now herbs means it's a one kind of a garnish so garnishing is very important factor for any of the preparation whatever you are preparing in the kitchen without garnishing you generally you never prefer to serve your dish because garnishing give an appeal to the dish that's why garnishing tray must be ready before the operation starts for any tandoor section the uh, you know seek are very important factor seek supposed to be ready the stand for holding those seeks should be ready tray for basting the kebabs are need to be very much near to you so that in the time of need you will bast it up properly and you can cook your kebabs properly similarly there can be many such steps but one has to ensure that each step provide the smooth work flow you know uh, in the kitchen whenever you are working uh, you are spending a huge lot of energy and to save that energy to uh, keep yourself cool and calm these are some of the steps these are some of the process where you can ease your work you can perform your duties very properly and not but the least the what you need to think is you supposed to be very much cool and calm whenever you are performing the operation in the kitchen because kitchen is very busy place and it's sometime it is very noisy sometime it is full of humidity ranges are burning and what it is this atmosphere is actually what it is doing it is uh, increasing your sometime it is increasing your blood pressure so you supposed to be very much careful you supposed to be very much cool and calm whenever you are producing any kind of item or you are uh, becoming ready for the operation that's all for the chapter if you have any question you can always contact me thank you very much have a nice day